Hello everybody and welcome to our Tips and Tricks series of Doc2 video clips. My name is Michael Quincy Stratman from Tech Support here at NA Lighting International. Today I have the honor to announce you the release of the new software version 1502 for Dot 2. What does the new software version include? We've got preset markers now, so you can see what presets are available for your selection of fixtures. We've got more, or we've got default executor settings. You can now put up settings how your executors should be. React to Grandmaster or not? If your lights, if your fixtures should react to the Grandmaster or not. DMX output before patching. That means if you want to use a house rig on a gig, you can now identify what channel is what and how to patch it. Clock and time code views. This was a big wish from our special effect, um, from the special effect companies that use a lot of time code on dot two. You now don't need to have an external monitor. You can see the time code view directly in the console. More settings in playback, like for example, auto start and off on overwritten. We've got the new solo function. I will explain that later in this clip. And we've got some web remote up so you can use your web remote better than you could use it before. If you want to install the new version, what do you have to do? You have to go to the ML Lighting homepage. In Downloads at Dot 2, you will find several files. You find the Dot 2 on PC in the new version, the Dot 2 3D in the new version. We find, you will find the update file. If you copy that one to the root directory of a USB stick, connect that to the console, you can use the update function directly from your console and can update your dot two. You will also find the file for the stick maker if you want to update your console via the stick maker. You will find the release notes, of course, and a new stick maker uh, and a new uh, fixture builder in one file in version one five. If you are in doubt how to update your console, please refer to the online manuals, dot two user manual, and in the dot two user manual you find the topic how to, how to update the console. So please refer to this if you are in trouble or if you don't know how to update the console. Yes, let's have a look uh, for at least one new topic, which is the solo function. So let's say you've got your lights, you've got them full and they are in a color and maybe they do a gobo as well. Let it rotate. Until now, you've only had the highlight function to so identify your light. So that highlight throws out everything of your selection to find the lights. That was the main issue of highlight. With a new solo function, the lights will keep their values and you can focus them in the mood like you are using them in a queue. So MA highlight gives you the solo function. This is the solo sign to warn you because if you step now through your selection of light with the next or previous button, you will see all other lights will be switched off and you can now do your focusing with the values that come from a queue or that you want to have. So it respects the values that the light has and makes them solo. You get rid of all this with MA highlight, you get your lights back. That's a new solo function, folks. So please do me a favor before you update or after you update or before you update your console, please install the dot two on PC and check if your shows look the same like they did before. Just to make it sure, we have tested the version. Lots of you have tested the version also at the LDI show. But um, you never know. And please don't update your console just before you have a show. And if that goes wrong, you have nothing. So please do it at home. Have a quick look if your shows look like they did before. We are quite sure they do, but you never know. So please check. That's it for today. Uh, we will do more tips and tricks about the new topics of the software. So please stay tuned. That's it for today, folks. My name is Michael Quincy Stratman, and this was 
tips and tricks about the 1.5 version. Bye.